Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet and today I've got a very special video for you today. It's been a while since I've done a Hornby review but I've been busy. So to make this Hornby video worth it, it's got to be something special. And trust me when I say that this is going to be a very special model I'm about to review. Today we're going to be reviewing at the 50th anniversary special limited edition of the Flying Scotsman when she went to America in 1969. This is the brand new limited edition that just came out recently. I mean, I've got a nice picture of it here. And it actually has a big, nice headlamp. And I really, I really do like the headlamp, I've got to say. But I'm really excited to get this out of the box and see what it looks like in person. So... This is going to be probably one of the most amazing, special Hornby reviews I've ever done on this channel. Right, so here we go. I'm really excited to show you guys because I, I haven't actually seen this out of its box yet. I was so excited I had to come home and just flip the camera on because I'm just really excited to get this out of the box. So I don't actually know what it actually looks like uh, out of the box. So I'm just really excited. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm just My heart is beating mad right now. Anyway, it says at the front, Flying Scotsman Limited Edition, uh, 50. Uh, no, I, like, I do like the 50, and it says 1969 to 2019, that looks very nice, 50th anniversary, sorry, it says uh, the 50th anniversary of the Flying Scotsman USA Tour, that looks so amazing, so what we're going to do is gently slide it out, I'm not very good at these unboxing videos, because you have to forgive me, and it says exactly the same on the front, but in a nice gold, oh, look at that, it looks so beautiful, especially the nameplate, just, I've never seen anything look so special in all my life, and you guys have to remember that Flying Scotsman is my favourite steam engine in the world, because people keep saying, what is your favourite steam engine, is it a uh, castle class, or is it uh, a merchant navy class, but I say, no, the Flying Scotsman is my most favourite steam engine of all time, but this is a very special box, and it does say Hornby at the very bottom left corner, I do like the Hornby logos, I mean, who doesn't like the Hornby logo? Um, and it says gold plated, that's very nice, I like the gold, it's gold plated. So anyway, uh, I'm really excited, this is a really nice box, well, I, do love, I do love the colour of it, I mean I do know that Mallard uh, is uh, gold plated as well, uh, you can get a gold plated Mallard but it's box is blue, but I do like the nice uh, green on this box. So anyway, let's open her up, I'm really excited. Oh, 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 look at that! Oh, that's so beautiful. I'll, get, I'll, I'll go through these bits one by one, but let's have a look at this thing. Uh, oh, it says uh, right there. Let's see if it's even my cope camera will focus in. Come on, camera. Can you um, be a ca good camera focus? Okay, there we go. Uh, it says LNER Class A3 Flying Scotsman, 50th anniversary of the USA Tour from 1969 to 2019. That looks very nice. And there's a little note here as well to let people know who actually are collecting these things. Uh, I know I am from from now on. It says, owners of this model who uh, wish to... Um, oh, God, I, didn't, I can't even see that. Uh, I think that's that their word is retain. Uh, it's... It, uh, I can't even speak properly. Okay, it says, if you wish to... Uh, for, for collectors who want to maintain uh, the goldness on this locomotive, uh, be advised that do not... Um, use it for general use for your layout. I mean, it, there is a motor inside this model, so you guys can actually use it if you want to use it as a normal model. But uh, for those people who are collecting it, uh, it wouldn't be the brightest idea because um, you can actually, the gold on the locomotive can actually uh, get weathered and be worn off. So I don't think that's a good idea. So we'll put that to one side. And we've got this little certificate as well, which looks cool. It says Flying Scotsman USA Tour, the Flying Scotsman logo on the top. And um, they only made a thousand of these models. And my model here is number 44. So that is actually not bad. It's actually under, it's actually under the hundred. So that's actually really good because I've got got double because I, I I think it's like the lower the number the more valuable it is But because I've got two zeros and two fours. I think that's a winner for me I mean, I'm happy. I mean bear in mind there's only a thousand of these and this is number 44 So that is really really good for my in my opinion. I, mean, I don't know what you guys think, but that's that's fantastic But there it is. Oh, there it is in its hope and glory uh, I'll see if I can actually move the box so you guys can actually see uh, the pictures of it. Let's remove this bit of um, protective paper. I'm going to keep that just in case the engine doesn't get dusty. But if you guys quickly look, uh, I might move the camera up so you can actually see what it looks like on the box. There we go. Move the camera up just a little bit. But it's got all these pictures of when Scotsman actually travelled to America. Oh, you guys can't see. Hold on, let me just readjust the camera again. My apologies, my friends. Uh, you can see my layout in the background. But there we go. You can see the pictures of when Scotsman actually boarded a ship. Uh, to go all the way across America, and there it is. 
Wow, look at that. That just looks fantastic. I'll see if I can actually um, zoom in in my lens. Can I zoom in in my lens? There we go. Look at that. That looks so that Scotsman in all her glory in the in the US of A. I like that. But that just looks absolutely stunning. I love these pictures and they're just fantastic. I love the black and white ones because they just have so much history. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, writing here. I'm not going to go through all of the writing. Well, I'm not going to go through any of this writing, to be honest, because it'll take me forever to get through it. But this is just the information you need to know about the model and Scotsman herself. So um, I'll, I'll leave it up like this for a few seconds if you guys want to pause the video and read it. Okay, there you go. Um, right, let me adjust the camera again, uh, very so slightly, and I want to be extra careful because I don't want to actually damage uh, this model, so that would be a, a big disaster, so let's put it into shot, so there we go. I think we should go through, uh, I want to go through this first, let's have a look and see what this is, because this looks like some really cool stand, it's like a wooden plaque thing, so if I can try and get it out ever so carefully, I'm not very good at these unboxing videos, you're going to have to forgive me. Um, God, these things are really snug in there, aren't they? There we go. Right, so I think this is uh, only... Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but the rails are actually a nice gold as well. That really looks really nice. I mean, especially on this bit of wood. I mean, if, I mean, it's very solid as well. It's a very solid bit block of wood. It's got this nice um, material. I think it's like... What is it? It feels like... Um, well, not denim, it feels like um, velvet, sorry, velvet, it sounds like, feel, I think it is velvet, but that's one uh, block, I need to get the other block out, I'm just going to call them blocks, let's see if I can get it out, come on, God, it is really snug in there, come on, out you come. Okay, sorry about that, I had a bit of an issue getting the uh, second block out, if my camera will focus, can you focus on the uh, on the block please, don't focus on, on the engine, focus on my hand. God, I need to get this camera fixed. Okay, there we go, it's focused, fantastic. So look at that, so I'm, I think there's like a little plug-in thing, there it is. So we, I think we need to plug these two together, like, <clears throat> there we go, all right, I think that's in. Uh, and that's the stand for where Scotsman's gonna be sitting on from now on. Well, that looks nice. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it in the box, to be honest, so it doesn't actually get dusty, but I will uh, put this in the reviewing box so you guys can actually have, have a good look at this model itself. But this is just, I just I love the stand. It just looks fantastic. So let's move that to one side just for a second, and we'll put these bits down. There we go. Because this is a really long review, I and mean, we haven't even got to the engine itself yet. Let's start with the second tender, to be honest, because I thought you know before we get to all into the engine, we should start with the tender. But I don't know how to get it out because it's it's so delicate, and I don't wish to like accidentally damage it. There we go. I've got I've got it. I've got it. Okay, that's good. Wow, look at that. Let's see if we can get it in focus. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Then look at the coupling as well. The coupling is a nice gold as well. And so are the buffers and the handrails as well. Wow, I've never seen anything look so... I mean, I know Flying Scotsman is a pretty loco, but I've never seen it like this. It's just... Can you imagine if Scotsman actually looked like this? That just looks so stunning and it's just... I've never seen a Hornby model look so clean as well. I mean, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I, lo I love the handrails. You can see it very clearly on the top of the water tank tender. That is just marvellous. And it says 4472. Get like a close-up shot for you guys if you guys want to see get a nice close-up close up, sorry, of this magnificent tender. But the detail on that is magnificent. I just love this so much. We'll pop that to one side. Actually, I'll pop it on the stand so it doesn't get any dirt on that on the on the wheels because these wheels are actually very delicate. Right, so the engine itself. Oh, I'm very nervous. Don't dare drop it, or then it'll be doomed, and then this thing won't be um, have any value. So how do I get it out? Oh, I want to be very careful. Don't want to break it. Come on, Oliver. You can do this. You can do it without breaking stuff. Um, oh, you get like a little note thing. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But let's get into the actual... Uh, oh, you get a spare wheel. Oh, I do like a spare wheel. I mean, who does not like a spare wheel? So let's get this out of its box very, very carefully. Because I know Scotsman is a very, very delicate engine. Especially as one as, is as amazing as this one. So I'm going to pop this down like that. Actually, I'll pop it on the floor so it's not actually so... Let's move the box out of the way. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous to get this out of its box. Okay, so here we go. Very, very carefully. There we go. There you go, Scotsman. Oh, I'm so nervous, but oh, just wish me luck, my friends, because I, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Careful. Careful. 
Oh my goodness, look at that! It's just absolutely beautiful. And even the little, um, what is it called? The foot play is gold as well. We've got a little bit of a foamy thing there. Let's just move that out of the way. Shouldn't do that one handed. But look, the actual foot play is, oh, that is a nice shot. Just like, look at the gold just glistening in the light. That looks beautiful in that. And the handrails as well as gold. And the rods of Scotsman are gold as well. I love that. And look at, look at that. Look, look at that big massive lamp. That's just beautiful. And it actually says 4472 on the lamp. See if I can try and get a nice close up for you guys. If you guys can actually focus in. Come on camera. Be, be a good camera for me and focus in for our Scotsman friend. Might need to adjust the light just a little bit. It's not my best review ever. And then again, which which, which what isn't my best review ever? Anyway, so let's see if we can get a, sh a shot of the lamp. There you go. It says four four seven two on the side. I'm not sure if that lamp lights up, but you know, I'm not I'm not risking to test that out. Uh, but look at the detail on the front and the buffers. Oh, it's just fantastic. I just love this thing so much. It's got the nice uh, chime whistle as well and the bell. I love the bell. My other um, fly, USA Flying Scotsman model I had, uh, the bell was actually missing because I bought it second hand, which was a real big shame. But I've never seen anything as beautiful. Sorry, I'm out, I'm out of shot. I've never seen anything as beautiful as that. It's just absolutely stunning. Stunning. I love the wheels and everything. So let's get a good shot from the side as well. Look at that. That's just so beautiful. I think this has got to be the most amazing model I've ever owned in Hornby history. Especially as one as good as Scotsman. I mean, as I said, Flying Scotsman is my favourite like, air loco of all time. But just a model like this is just so beautiful. And here's a shot of the tender if you guys are mad about Scotsman's tender. It's just Beautiful and look at the look at the railings on the back. The handrails are just beautiful, especially the one on the top. I love that. And it's got cab detail as well. I mean, who doesn't like cab detail? But this is just an absolute stunning model. I think we should need what we need to do now is get this in the reviewing box and have a good long look at this magnificent engine. So let's move on to the reviewing box then, shall we, my friends? I think we shall. And there we go, my friends. Scotsman in all of her glory. It just looks absolutely fantastic. The amount of detail on this thing is mind-blowing, but I'm just even more mind blown of how well the goldness looks on. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if it's me, but I think the goldness on Scotsman actually suits her. It's like, and that big headlamp. I mean, in my opinion, okay, I knew Scotsman looked kind of weird in its American look, but that big headlamp look, looks. It looks like she's wearing a crown. And that's that's how amazing this model looks. And I've got to say this: that if there's anyone who's a Scotsman lover out there, I would highly recommend this because this is just a model. You just have to get it. It's just, it's, it's literally one of its kind, or well, should I say it's, it's a thousand of its kind, because there's, it, there's so many of them. Well, there's a limit of them. So, guys, you have gotta get one of these if you're a Scotsman lover. That's just my opinion. So, please, I'll try and leave, find, I'll try and leave a link in the description below so you guys can place an order for one of these. So, if those of you who think, I mean, I have to be honest, okay, this is quite a lot of money for just a, a Scotsman with two tenders. I mean, you don't get any coaches or any, with it or anything, but in my opinion, I just think it's absolutely worth it, especially a model as good as this. And yes, as I said, this model does have cab detail, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but you can see on the little footplate uh, part, I don't actually know what it's called, if you guys know what it is then please let me know, but it's what separates the cab to the tender, but that's in a nice gold as well, and I do love these handrails as well, they just look so nice, especially in a gold colour, I mean, I, I, I keep saying this, but the goldness just, just surprises me, it's just mind-blowing how much work and effort they've put to make, to make this model look as amazing as it could be, or can be, if even. So overall, yes, it's a great model, and as I said before, I really highly recommend you guys get one of these because there's not that many out there. There's only a thousand on sale, so well, there's only a thousand ever going to be made. But please, guys, if you can, I would recommend getting these because these are just so lovely to look at, and it's just such a nice model to have for your Hornby collection. I mean, especially if you're a Scotsman lover like me, I really recommend this. 
Okay, normally in my next part of the video would be put my loco on a rolling road to see how well it runs. But because this Flying Scotsman is so valuable and it's a limited edition, I'm not actually not going to risk weathering or wearing uh, the gold wheels on Scotsman. So what I'm going to do now is put it back in its box and keep it in mint condition. Well, I'm going to try to anyway. But sorry my friends, if you guys wanted to see this thing run, then this is not the video for you. So, sorry for wasting your time if you guys really wanted to see this loco run, but I'm not going to be doing it in this video today, so I do apologise. But make sure you click that subscribe button my friends, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch, all the links are in the description. And remember, I've got a fan meetup happening on the 14th of December at York, so please my friends, uh, if you guys want to be attend to the fan meetup, then please let me know uh, on my Discord, or just leave your comment in the uh, comment section below. But until then, my friends, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this review. And remember, my friends, it's all about the train. Normally I say it's all about the game, but for this, it's all about Scotsman. It's all about the train. Take care, my friends, and I will see you all next time. Bye!